Hey guys, happy Sunday. For this segment of Let's Get Personal, we are gonna talk all about home inspections. So what is a home inspection? A home inspection is a visual assessment of a home's physical structure and mechanical systems, including the roof, ceilings, walls, floors, windows, and doors, basically the structural elements of a home. A home inspector will take a few hours, depending on the size of the home, to complete a detailed walkthrough of the home you're looking to purchase. The inspector will check that all major appliances are functional, heating and air conditioning system work properly, examine um, the plumbing and electrical systems, and also uh, view the attic. During that time, the inspector will be taking notes and pictures commenting on any information that they find. It's important to note that not all inspectors check, for example, pools and spas, septic tanks, and sprinkler systems. So it is very important you either do your own research or ask your realtor for a recommendation. The last thing you want as a buyer is to hire an inspector that, let's say, for example, does not inspect pools and you're purchasing a home with a pool, so then you need to go hire someone else to come do the job. When I am meeting with my clients for the first time, I give them information on three of my preferred inspectors that I know do a wonderful job. This way they have plenty of time to look at each one thoroughly and select the one that best suits them. So when does a home inspection happen? The home inspection happens after the seller has accepted your offer but before the purchase is complete. In my last week's video, I talked about the option period. The home inspection takes place during that option period. So how much does a home inspection cost? Home inspections aren't cheap, so I will be the first to tell you that. They can cost anywhere from three to $500 or more, again, depending on the size of the home. So you wanna be sure you're getting what you pay for. You'll also want to have those funds on hand because unlike uh, other closing costs, you generally pay the home inspector at the time of service. Can I attend my home inspection? I think most inspectors will tell you to come at the end of the inspection. The reason being, if you're there, you're more likely to um, ask questions, get in the way, and keep them from making and doing their job thoroughly. So what I will say is that most inspectors will invite you to come at the end. That, that way they can answer all your questions and go over anything that you need them to at that time. For example, one of my favorite inspectors, Daryl Creasy with AMVET Inspection, usually gives me a call about an hour or half an hour before he is complete. And then that's the opportunity for me and my client to go over to the home and he will um, point out any major problems um, and allow my client to ask questions. After that, his report is delivered within 24 hours. So what's included in a home inspection report? A good home inspection report is extensive, but not all the fluff containing checklists, summaries, photographs, and notes. It may estimate um, the remaining useful life of the roof, major systems, and equipment. The critical information will include recommended repairs and replacements if need be. Remember guys, the goal of a home inspection is to uncover issues with the home itself. It is not a pass or fail exam. It is not gonna tell you if you're getting a good deal on the home or um, offer an opinion on the sales price. No fixes are mandatory after a home inspection, though it may uncover issues that prompt further negotiations with the seller. You'll learn much um, about the home and gain confidence on the decision to move in, or maybe you're gonna pass on the home because of what the home inspection um, information that came back to you. Most importantly, the inspector will provide an objective opinion on the home's condition. A professional home inspection can give you the added confidence as a home buyer, ensuring you're aware of any issues before closing on your new home. So I hope I answered most of the inspection questions that I received. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email, DM me. I love answering these because it's an opportunity for me to share information with you um, as a consumer um, to make an informed decision when you are purchasing a home. Um, I'm going to try and continue to do my Sundays Let's Get Personal with real estate related questions. And on Thursdays, I'm going to try and answer more personal questions. That's it. I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday.